I'm so relieved that we're back to work. <laughs> it just feels so good. Like, I know it's nice to have some time off, but, um, it's also just, like, not the norm for us to, like, be settled down. So I just, like, I feel so relieved. Right now I'm just cleaning. Um, not really much to do, just, like, have to make the beds and kind of get things placed. I'm just waiting on housekeeping to come. I'm not exactly sure what time they're going to be coming here. Um, that's something I'll find out in the next couple days, like when they come and what time. So, yep. Jack isn't very happy today. Hi, Jack. Hi. He wants his feet out. It made him a little bit more happy. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Manny, no. No. Don't do that. Manny, no. This dog is an amazing dog. He listens. I've taken him out three times today, and I have not put a leash on him because he doesn't like run off. He stays right next to me. He doesn't get too far. He listens to every command the very first time I ask. It's my husband's co-worker's dog, and man, I just, <laughs> I mean, we have, um, my husband and I, we've had a couple of dogs, and um, we have a hard time training them and getting them to listen. And like guess they'll listen, but then they'll have like, I don't know, it's just like, they always like take a step forward and two steps back, and we just don't have that gift really to be able to train dogs very well, but this dog is just so amazing, and he, he's just amazing, and he's just so well, well behaved, and like he just saw people and he's not like jumping on them, nothing. That's one thing that we always have an issue with with our dogs, is they just don't know how to, they get too excited, they don't hurt anybody. But they just, they want to jump on every person that they see, and I don't know why, but. So, I'm just, and I'm also, like, in a really good mood. I am just so glad to be back to work. Well, not me, but my husband. You know what I mean. I'm just so glad because we, um, we don't have a, a house that, because we are constantly traveling. We're just, like, just, you know, wherever we're staying at is where we live. Um, we do have a storage in it, but anyways... Um, we were staying with, um, somebody, well, so, like, it's just, it gets tired, tiring when you're staying with somebody, it just, you start to get on each other's nerves, or, not that I'm saying I'm, I, was, I was getting annoying at all, it's just good to be in your own space, you know, as much as you can, so it's good to have, you know, even though it's just a motel room, it's, it's our space right now, we're paying for it, it's just ours. Can do whatever we want, <laughs> walk around naked, it's just so, it's really good to be, it's really good to be back. The housekeepers have been really nice, we're staying at the Executive Suites in um, Ponca City, Oklahoma, and I guess it used to be the Economy, but now it's the Executive Suites, and everyone that I've seen so far just has been so nice, um, it's just a lovely day out, very sunny. Um, Minnie's a little bit cranky today. I don't really know why, but he is. And Jack's a little bit cranky too. It could just be from the traveling, which is not really... I mean, I'm feeling pretty good, but... We got a really good um, motel room. It's a good price. We got the bigger room, so it's like it's quite long. It didn't dry very nice. Usually after I wash it, it's all curly. But I don't know, I guess he just had a rough night. 
Were you rolling around a lot last night? Hey, Doc. Back to the picnic with Annie soon? Uh-huh. Cutie pie. Cutie pie. You're a cutie pie. ABCs, ABCs. I sang a lot of songs to Jack today. I sang ABCs to him. Twinkle, twinkle. No, I didn't sing that song. Um, the Itsy Bitsy Spider. And then the head, shoulders, knees, and toes song. He liked all of it. I had to let him kind of cry it out. Because he was getting a little bit... I don't want him like Minnie. Because Minnie, I just... I picked him up like way too much and too soon. So he's just a big whiny butt. And um, so Jack, we're just trying to be different with him and let him kind of cry it out sometimes. And and like with Minnie, I never would let him cry it out, like ever. Like I thought it was just a torture. I could not do it. But for any moms, like any new moms with Jack, like you, you think that you're gonna let them cry it out and they're just gonna keep crying and keep crying and forever and ever and ever. No, he literally, if he knows that I'm not gonna pick him up and he, um, I guess he might start screaming and it might get a little bit loud, but it does not even last a minute. And that's what really surprised me is that they will stop. Like they will know like, okay, not this time, you know, I'm not gonna like play them this time, you know, and I'm gonna stop crying and be happy. And they really will, they'll stop crying. And that's what he does. And just, I mean, he's being really, I had already breastfed him, changed his diaper, played with him, sang with him, done a bunch of stuff, tried changing his positions, tried to, I even took his feet out, he really liked that. Um, but then it just like, nothing was making him happy. So that's how I knew that he was trying to play me. So I let him cry, and not even a minute. He cried, and he stopped, and now it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> You're gonna be the nice baby, aren't you? Minnie, he never liked getting his diapers, his diapers changed, ever. He hated it. Um, Jack, he, he's happy. He'll laugh and smile. So I don't know what's up with him, but he just was not, he's not been very nice, ever. This tow truck is going to pick up a broken car. This fire truck is on its way to put out a fire. This ambulance is taking a sick person to the hospital. This gas truck is delivering fuel to power other machines. Trucks do lots of jobs.